of metals and non metals so first of all metals what will happen okay so what do you expect when a metal suppose m reacts with oxygen what do you expect it will generally or most commonly form an oxide which can be either m2o mo mo2 anything depending on the valency of m so when na reacts with o2 it forms na2o and when k actually when na reacts with o2 you know it can form another oxide it not it's not necessarily na2o it can form na2o2 this is called sodium oxide and this is called sodium peroxide and the radical generally we have na2 plus and o2 minus so no na2 plus what am i writing na plus and o2 minus and so we have na2o but in this case we have na plus and o2 2 minus this is a radical and this is called this peroxide radical so when na reacts with o2 forms na2o it can also form na2o2 depending on the conditions and or or if you have k reacting with o2 it forms k2o which is potassium oxide it can form this which is potassium peroxide or it can form this also and this ko2 is known as potassium superoxide and here we have the radical o2 minus and we have k plus now only this k can form superoxides na cannot form nao2 and why it cannot form that we will study later but just for your information you also have peroxides and superoxides along with these normal oxides but we will not concentrate much on peroxides and superoxides what our area of concern is just oxides normal oxides so they can be na plus o2 giving na2o you can have calcium plus oxygen giving what cao you can have aluminium plus oxygen 
giving Al to O3. So, this is 4Al plus 3O2 gives 2Al to O3. And this is sodium oxide, this is calcium oxide, and this is aluminium oxide. Now, you know, this oxides, you see, when they are formed, they will not form at the same rate or they will not form with the same uh, what do you say some oxides will be very vigorous in their formation and some oxides will not be very vigorous in the formation like sodium if you just have a sodium piece out in the open it will just react with the oxygen in the atmosphere and it will form sodium oxide and it will just get burnt away but aluminium you will have to heat it a little bit you will have to hold it over a flame to form oxides we'll see why in later in this chapter but now for now's concern is that all these na2o cao mgo al2o3 All these oxides can be considered as basic oxides, isn't it? Because Na2O will form NaOH when dissolved in water, CaO will form, oh, I'll write it, Na2O will form NaOH when dissolved in water, CaO will form CaOH hold twice when dissolved in water. MgO will form MgOH hold twice and Al2O3 will form AlOH hold thrice. So all these are bases. So these are all basic oxides because they react with water to form bases and on the other hand non-metals like carbon if you burn it in oxygen it produces carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide is essentially an acidic oxide because carbon dioxide will react with water to form H2CO3. This is under very high pressure, but it does form H2CO3, which is carbonic acid, and it is an acid. Similarly, sulfur will react with oxygen to form SO2, and SO2 will react with water to form H2SO3, not 4. This H2SO3 is known as sulfurous acid. This is not sulfuric acid. SO2 forms sulfurous acid. SO3 forms sulfuric acid. 